Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our story today is a reaction video of Joe Biden taking credit for everything when he shouldn't be taking credit for anything. We've gone from an economy that was shut down to an economy that's leading the world in economic growth. We've gone from small businesses being shuttered to a record number of new small businesses starting up. And we've gone from a devastating job destruction to record new job creation. I know for a lot of Americans, things are still very hard, very hard. But if you look at all the facts, all the facts, you can only come to one conclusion. We've made enormous progress in this country. First and foremost, our economy is creating jobs, lots of jobs. In fact, we've seen a record new job growth in America this year. 5.6 million jobs just since I was sworn in in January the 20th. More jobs created at this point in a new presidency than ever before in American history. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is remarkable. This guy's boasting about his accomplishments after the government just shut down the entire United States. You couldn't open up your business. You couldn't allow your employees to come to work. You couldn't go to work even if you wanted to. And so it was inevitable that job creation was going to go through the roof at some point because you shut everybody down. And this guy's boasting about it. So the government caused it. And now the government's taking credit for it. And people are, st are just taking this in. <laughs> They're like, oh my God, look at everything Joe's doing to us. Look at everything he's doing for us. We got to bow down. We got to bow down to you, Joe. <laughs> it's just like, and like I said, people are going to be like, oh, you know what? I bet you the approval rating will go up a little bit because you got these lefties out there. You got these Democrats going, look what Emperor Joe's doing for us. He's giving us jobs. I'm sure at some point he's going to talk about wages going up. Let's just, you know, let's just continue. I guarantee you, it has to be. I haven't seen this yet, but it has to be. So if you look at the facts, here's what the record shows. Record job creation, record economic growth. Now, after years of wages being flat or falling behind, we're also seeing something else. Things are getting better for American workers. Higher itself. wages, <laughs> better benefits, more flexible schedules. Oh, yeah. Balance sheets for American families are better as well. Savings are up. Home equity is up. Credit card balances are down. And if you continue and combine the wage increases we've seen with the, with the direct relief my administration has provided to middle class families. There you go. Why, why did every, why, why did wages go up, Joe? Oh, because of the relief I gave people. People that weren't working, not even looking for a job. You know, it's those that weren't looking for a job and those that just didn't have one. We're giving them checks. People that were working, such as myself, we were giving them checks too. So everybody's wages went up on average, Joe, which is why you're seeing an increase. But he's going to spin this and make it seem like, you know, all his accomplishments and everything he's done for us. You know what I mean? We should be sitting there kissing his feet, right? <laughs> it's just like, man, and people, like I said, are going to be flocking going, oh my God, look what he's done. This shit would have done and figured it out itself. He would have just opened the thing back up sooner. Make sure you guys write a letter to Joe Biden and tell him how thankful you are for him just doing the natural thing the government's supposed to do and let us live our freaking lives without government intervention. The typical middle class family's disposable income has actually gone up 2% this year, even after accounting for higher prices. And it takes us, you know, it, it, it makes us stand out from the rest of the world. We know there's a lot of fear and uncertainty in the country. Because you're president, dude. That's why there's fear and uncertainty in everything right now. Nobody knows what the hell you're going to do. And you said, hey, I can't figure out the supply chain. It's probably not going to be figured out for a couple years from now. You might not even be alive then, Joe. God forbid. He is a human being. We have to love our president. He's my president. But it's like the dude has no, no idea how to fix the gas issue the guy wants to close down another pipeline so he doesn't have results anywhere and the results that he's taking credit for we're going to naturally resolve itself anyways once the government allowed things to open back up he didn't do shit <laughs> it's just like it's unbelievable again like is anybody else's mind just blown at this guy <laughs> oh my
my God. We know. <laughs> we know it's tough for families to keep up with the rising cost of gasoline, food, housing, and other essentials. Supply chain bottlenecks. Elevated prices. It's just the guy doesn't have a clue what the hell is going on. Like I said, the issues that have resolved themselves were naturally going to occur anyways, regardless of who was going to be president. Okay. The stuff that he caused, he hasn't fixed yet. Prime example, illegal immigration. 10 months, the dude hasn't fixed it. We all know how to fix it. It was done under Trump. We all know the answers to it, but this guy doesn't. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction video. We still got a guy in office that doesn't know what the hell's going on. His VP doesn't know what's going on, which is probably why she's going to get the boot soon. Can't see her running again. So can we just get somebody in office that knows how to run the show, whether it's Trump, DeSantis, a conservative, Ted Cruz, somebody. But there you go, folks. We're, we're chauffeuring out our president, taking responsibility for things that he shouldn't be taking responsibility for. Thank you so much for watching the Bald Brad Show. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Share it with your friends and family all over social media. And I'll see you next time here on the Bald Brad Show.